Avajivka, Donetsk direction. There is currently a very interesting group of troops, so to speak, operating in the Avajivka area. First of all, these are representatives of the 1st and 2nd Army Corps, which are the mobilized biomass of the so-called Luhansk and Donetsk republics. But, all this mass has support. These corps are supported by a fairly substantial Russian artillery grouping from the 8th Guards Combined Arms Army. The units operating in this area consist of a brigade, three regiments and a division. They have a full complement of various barrel and reactive lesions. On the other hand, the leader of the Donetsk Republic Pushilin has been sending requests to the command of Russian troops for more than a month about the need to provide more landing units to continue the offensive on Avajivka. At first he received an answer, there will be, but you have to wait a bit. Then he received an answer, you won't get paratroopers, but you will get selected fighters of the BARS unit, the best of the best. Now he is not even promised BARS anymore. And all because Bakhmut is devouring all the available resources of the Russian troops and the command has to shuffle the limited resources best they can, and they can't. But another thing is important here. The example of Avajivka vividly demonstrates that having a large quantity of meat, which can have artillery support, is impossible without armored combat vehicles to solve the tasks at hand. It is a balance of forces and means in their immediate function. Not long ago, Pushilin personally visited the outskirts of Bakut to tearfully ask for help in supporting the offensive in the Adivka direction, but he was again ignored. Before I continue, I ask you to subscribe to my channel, it will help to promote it. In the Avajivka area, the enemy does not have the necessary balance, as it was not in the area of Vuglida, where having a full staff of units of the 40th and 155th separate Marine Brigade, without artillery support they wiped out and zeroed out in a week. Without one component, there was no effectiveness of the entire group of troops. But, most importantly, the Russian command is now unable to ensure that all of the integral components to ensure the effectiveness of the troop group both in offensive and defensive operations are in place along virtually the entire front line. And Avajivka, in this case, is a prime example. By the way, Bakhmut was never presented to Putin for Orthodox Easter, and Prigozhin is already proposing to end the offensive and fix his victories as they are. The leader of the Wagner group suggested putting a fat end to the hostilities, and he was the first to voice the idea that this story must somehow come to an end. It is useful to recall the fate of the separatist field commanders, who also began at some point to demonstrate excessive independence in their judgments, after which they were attacked by some kind of pestilence. In any case, they were already too late with the fat point, about a year too late. They still have not understood that the war will end not on Russian terms, but after a Ukrainian victory.